Okay, so what we're going to do is we turned the headings into questions, and then we're going to highlight the answers. Okay, why don't you want to highlight everything in a paragraph? Because if you highlight everything in a paragraph, it's like nothing's highlighted. Exactly. So, read the first question. Okay, how do you know a hurricane, a hurricane is coming? Okay. The wind speed picks up, the winds reach hurricane strength, blending over palm trees. The wind rips roofs off buildings and flying objects become deadly. Rising water flood low-lying areas. Okay, stop. Did you just answer that question? Yes. Okay. You can take this one. It's already a question. This one is already a question, so. why? What is a hurricane? Er, hurricanes are gigantic circular storms that can be hundreds of miles wide. No matter what they do, what they are called, winds over hundreds of miles per hour, and miles per hour, inches of rain and high seas cause death and sometimes billions of dollars in damage. This is another question: How hurricanes form? Hurricanes. How do hurricanes form? Hurricanes form over tropical oceans worldwide. The storms from form when energy from the sun heats ocean water near the equator. Wind begins to rotate or spin around the low pressure area. Tropical storms can grow into hurricanes if they soak up more heat energy, heat energy from the warm ocean they pass over. Where hurricanes form. Hurricanes get start. Where do hurricanes form? Hurricanes start. Hurricanes get started southeast of the Car Caribbean Sea. How how are how cur hurricanes? How are hurricanes classified? How are hurricanes classified? Meteorologists classify hurricanes according to their intensity using the Sapphire Simpson, Saphir Simpson hurricane scale. The scale goes from one to five and helps describe the kind of damage and dangers of each category of hurricane. How do we study hurricanes? Scientists study the differences in the pictures to measure changes in the storms. It storms, movement, and intensity. High clouds within strong hurricanes show up on pictures from satellites as colder than as colder than the surrounding area. The most dramatic hurricane study tool is the Hurricane Hunter. This is a specially designed aircraft that flies into the eye of a hurricane to make direct measurements of temperature, moisture, wind speed, and direction. How do hurricanes okay. form on the left? Oh no, it's how do we study hurricanes? How do we? No, on the left. Oh. That page keeps going. How do? This is another how do we study hurricanes? Doppler radar also helps track storms. Wide range Doppler radar shows a hurricane wind speed as it approaches land. Doppler radar stations send out short bursts of energy waves. The computer analyzes the different differences in the waves to create a model of a storm. How do we predict hurricanes? Computers are used to predict hurricanes movements, thousands movements. Thousands of measurements are typed into supercomputers to predict where a storm will go. As computers improve, we will be able to do more accurately to more accurately predict where hurricanes will hit will hit land. Do you how do you prepare for hurricanes? Keep emergency supplies such as first aid kit, flashlight, drinking water, and canned food. Keep battery powered radio to listen if the power goes out. Follow the instructions you receive over the radio with each elevated warning. Keep your car's gas tank full in case you need to evacuate. 
if you are in the path of a hurricane, you have to time protect your house by nailing plywood over windows. The tie down the loose objects outside. Have a family evacuation plan. Include the plan when you leave where you, where to go, how you will get there, and what to do if your family becomes becomes separated. Leave as soon as you are ordered to evacuate.